Bonjour, and today in this video, I am going to ask us the question, are you falling for black this fall? I had such a great response to my previous video about ankle boots. And many of you ask many questions and I will do some videos replying to your questions very soon. Among your questions, there was one that really caught my eye and it is from Leslie Craven. I would like some tips on how to look chic and elegant but not too dressy. And Leslie would also like to know how to wear black without looking like you are going to a formal occasion. So this video today is based around a simple tailored pair of black trousers and how to wear various sweaters with it. So black! I don't think there is a French woman who has not got black in her wardrobe. You know, us French women, we wear a fair amount of black and certainly we start to wear black even more in the autumn and winter. So what about you? What about wearing black? Do you have, you know, a problem with wearing black? Maybe you're not quite sure which colors to wear with black. Or maybe it is too, too somber for you. Maybe you think it's too formal. Please let me know in the comments below which problems you have with, with wearing black. So we're going to start not with one sweater, but with two. This first sweater is a round neck and it's just a classic sweater. Now, in France, we have plenty of these classic sweaters. We wear them at toutes les sauces, as we say in French, which means, you know, anywhere, uh, anytime, they go with everything, okay? So this first sweater is from Lily Silk and it is in 15% silk, 20% wool. This is comfortable to wear, it is soft, it is absolutely gorgeous. So this is a classic, classic, timeless, elegant, chic, piece to have in your wardrobe. So I'm going to show you, you know, um, so this one is round neckline. This is especially good if you have a smaller bust. And this one is a v-neck. Again, the v-neck is better for women with a larger bust. You can wear blouses underneath. So allow for color, you know, the neckline of the blouse to go over the top. So of course, we started with this easiest color, the black. So black sweater with black trousers, of course, goes very well. You can wear with that your a pair of black coats or black pumps with a heel and don't get your silhouette. Let's not forget that black is a receding color. See, this is why it's considered a slimming color. And it looks really sleek. You know, you put your hands in your pocket and a nice black and white scarf like this. I think this is very French, don't you think? Please let me know what you think of this simple outfit, black sweater. Choose the neckline you prefer. I tell you, this kind of outfits we find in France chic and completely timeless. I hope this answered your questions, Leslie, because you see, it is very simple to wear black, but you know, it doesn't have to be completely black. You can add a black and white scarf, you can add a colorful scarf, you can add a necklace, you can have a um, blouse underneath where you just show the neckline. There's so many ways. And you see, it doesn't have to be too formal and too dressy because this will be a casual outfit but chic and elegant at the same time. So please let me know what you think in the comments below. We have just done the black, now let's go one step lighter with grey. I have two shades of grey here. So both round neckline, as you can see, I'm wearing this scarf, and you have a darker grey and a lighter grey. These sweaters are both from Lily Silk. As you know, I really love Lily Silk. Thank you very much to Lily Silk for sponsoring this video. So this dark grey sweater is 15% silk and 20% wool. Really soft and really warm. And this beautiful sweater is 100% cashmere. So you have two different shades of grey. You pick the shade that suits you the most, or you know, even a little bit lighter with a scarf, so it's not closer to your face, or go a little bit darker. You know, in grey, you can go various shades. So again, as in the black, wear with scarves, 
wear with jewelry, wear with a blouse underneath, maybe one with a tie, call it a lavalier, you know, that will fall in the front. That gives you many options, and it is not just an all in black ensemble. So, go a little bit lighter towards the top. You know, you may think that grey is too drab, but if you wear, if you break the, you know, the color that is towards your face with something like that, that will go. You can wear color with grey. Don't forget that pink really, really goes with grey. So choose something that, again, the color that suits you. You know, you don't even, if you think that gray may be too drab for you, it will change with a scarf, with a bright pink scarf close to your face. And this gray with black is something we really wear in France. French women, again, we like things that are classic and timeless. Black is classic and timeless. Grey, classic and timeless. And the other colors that I'm going to show you, again, classic and timeless. And these are sweaters that I wear, you know, in the winter, in the autumn, on cold evenings, maybe in spring, or even in the summer. So please let me know what you think about those grey sweaters with the black trousers in the comments below. So we've finished with the grey, now let's go for red. Look at this fiery red. So this is really good for the winter. Bright red, but of course you could also go for burgundy, for maroon. So um, maroon or bordeaux, as we call it in French, is a color that we mostly wear in the winter. So who doesn't love a good red for fall? Of course, first of all, always wear the red that suits you the best. There are various shades of red. You can go for a dark red, or a lighter or more, maybe more orangey red, depending on your skin color. Always have a look in the mirror, in a natural light, which red suits you the best. Always, always, always. Okay? This sweater, for instance, is one from Hobbs. So the neckline on this one is lower than the other necklines I showed you. So for fall, you know, it's going to get a little bit cooler. So maybe wear the blouse underneath. You can show more of the neckline of the blouse, maybe wear on a scarf as well, or maybe as well as a blouse, wear a scarf beneath the um, beneath the blouse, you know. So it's a vibrant red, goes very well with the black, but it is really fiery, it attracts attention. So are you ready for, for the attention? Please let me know what you think about wearing a red sweater with black trousers. So we've finished with the red, now let's go for the beige. Oh, caramel! So this beautiful sweater is again from Lily Silk, 15% silk and 20% wool. Again, very soft. Having this color in your wardrobe, of course, if it suits you, and there are many shades, so always choose the shade that suits you the best, but goes very well with black. You know, it tones down the harshness of the black, if you like. And this is... Such a color, a classic color to have in your closet because that can be worn with almost every other color. This is very good for not only fall but also the other season. You can lighten that up with some off-white, winter white, cream and you can, you know, um, tone it down with blue, you know, the navy blue that in France we love. So do you have a sweater in this color in your wardrobe? Would you wear it with black? Please let me know what you think in the comments below. So now we've done the beige or maybe it's a caramel. I prefer the, the, the name of caramel than beige, don't you? So now we've done with this sweater, let's go for off-white. So this sweater in v from Uniqlo is again one of those timeless pieces to have in your wardrobe. That will go with everything. So it will go very well with black because as you know, black and white, it's a, you know, a match made in heaven. Whether the blouse underneath or just a scarf, black and white scarf, wear with a black jacket over it. One thing to watch with off-white and this one is made of merino wool. It's a little bit, it's very thin and it's a little bit see-through. So what the thing to do is to wear um, a nude camisole underneath so you don't show your bra. 
And of course, which color bra to wear? A nude is always better, so it doesn't show underneath. So please let me know what you think about this ultra classic, ultra elegant sweater to wear with the black pants. I think this one is an absolute no-brainer, the same as the black sweater. We French women love black, as I have mentioned in this video today, and I showed you how to wear a simple pair of black trousers with various sweaters. We went from black, this old black ensemble, you know, it is perfect to look slimmer, to look taller, to flatten your tummy, you know, uh, to make you narrower. So probably why us French women love black. Uh, and then we went to the grey, the lighter grey, the warmth grey. Oh, I really love this one. Um, and then we went to the to the fiery red. You know, add a bunch of colour. But you could also easily wear pink, for instance. As you know, I love bright pink, and I have not got a pink sweater. So you know, I could wear, for instance, a cardigan with a you know fastened up. That would be just the same as wearing a sweater. Use your imagination, go through your closet, have a look what else you could wear with the black. And then we went to the beige or caramel. As that as well with the black it looks amazing. And then we went to the lightest one, to the off-white. So you see, we went from black to white. That goes amazingly with black. Black is a classic, timeless, chic, elegant color to have in your wardrobe for any season, but especially the Cooler season, maybe. But you know, let's not forget black, even in the summer. That's for another video. But you can accessorize black so many ways. It is so easy to have a very versatile. You know, curate your wardrobe so, so that all the pieces, you know, go with each other. And this is essentially what we do. You know, us French women, with our closet, with our wardrobe, we curate pieces so they're absolutely perfect with each other. So now the bonus tip. The bonus tip is about the color. Maybe you think a color does not suit you. Maybe it's not the right shade. It's too light, too dark, um, you know, too bright, too pastel maybe, you know, because we all look differently. Of course, some colors, primary colors may not suit you or pale colors may not suit you. So the bonus tip today is for you how to, to know, how to, to learn, how to find out which colors to do the best. Pick up the color of that piece, that item. You're not quite sure if it suits you in the color. So hold it close to you. Natural light, mirror, have a look. Okay? This will tell you if it suits you, if it doesn't suit you. If it suits you, oh, yeah, it's going to brighten up your face up. You're going to look amazing, healthy, as if you just come back from a holiday. But the opposite, if it's for a color, for instance, a color you should not wear because it's not for you, how will you know? You will look tired. You will look, you know, as if you haven't been on a holiday for years and badly need of one. So this is how you notice the difference, you know. If mm, it drags your, your face down, it is not a color for you to wear. So have a look in the mirror and you will know for certain because, you know, Sometimes we think a color, oh, this color always suits me. But sometimes, depending on the fabric, it may look different on you. So have a look at that. The color may also the fabric. These have an effect. For instance, you know, something, a fabric that is shiny, for instance, will look different than um, a cotton. So have a look at that. Always in a natural light, with a mirror to your face, and see the effect on your face, close to your face. So even if you think that a color may not suit you, if you wear a scarf, you know, that obviously close to your face is a scarf, you know, it may break the color a little bit. Add something else towards your face that brighten the whole look up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was packed with tips, packed with info. So do not waste any time. Write on your journal or write on your journal. You know, all the style tips, everything that you learn, the question you're asking your, yourself, your aha moments. You know, which color goes with what? Which color suits you? Have you tried this? Have you tried that? Which classic pieces you need to write on your shopping list? Always in detail. You know, all these questions. Write, write on your style journal. You will learn so much, so much more. So if you enjoyed this video, please click like and share. Click subscribe. Click on the little bell. 
and I'll see you in my next video. Au revoir.